urinary tract infection now apart from vagina um vaginal yeast infection the next kind of infection that women are always exposed to is urinary tract infection and men do get urinary tract infection but women are always exposed to unite this urinary tract infection because of the our and the anatomy of our reproductive organ the proximity between the vagina and the anus now the anus is full of microorganisms so any small thing if it finds its way into the vagina you will get urinary tract infection so in this video i'm going to be telling you about why you have recurrent urinary tract infection how to treat urinary tract infection so they don't go um they don't come back and prevention of urinary tract infection then what will happen to you when you lift urinary tract infection untreated most people have this habit of not treating their infection they are waiting for online somebody to give them what to take be very careful if you don't treat urinary tract infection it can go as far as damaging your kidneys i will explain that later at the later end of this video so let's get to it be careful i'm going to be mixing everything together the causes prevention and everything together so the video doesn't get too long okay <clears throat> Now, one of the causes why you have recurrent urinary tract infection is that this because the one you treated before, you didn't treat it very well, okay? You didn't finish the treatment. Now, when they give you drugs, when you go um, for lab and they give you drugs to for your urinary tract infection, after treating, taking that drugs, don't relax. Still go back. Still rerun that culture and sensitivity. Still rerun that urinary um test. That test they did for you. Rerun it to find out if that bacteria is still there. Okay? If the antibiotics has cleared it out. If it has cleared it out, wonderful. Again, when you're treating urinary tract infection, avoid having sexual intercourse with your partner. Treat yourself. If your partner is having the same let him both if i both of you should treat yourself because if after treating yourself you still go to him he will reinfect you so the two of you have to treat yourself okay this is one thing you should do number two try to reduce sugar yes sugar increases your chances of having urinary tract infection okay but say um sugar thrives in in bacteria okay oh, sorry bacteria thrives in sugar so reduce and also find out if you're diabetic most young um people are diabetic and they have no idea if you're diabetic treating infection is very hard except you control your sugar level so try to find out if you're diabetic another thing you should do is <clears throat> take vitamin c oh i cannot underestimate the value of vitamin c it will really help you it will help you in preventing urinary tract infection and even vaginal yeast okay vitamin c but make sure you take lots of water remember that video how i told you how vitamin c can cut kidney stones so make sure you take lots of water but hit vitamin c will save you a whole lot now <clears throat> another one very 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 important is this i hope you know that um when you have you can have um urinary tract infection when you even if you're not a virgin very that is very okay you can have you, you must not have sex to have urinary tract infection now let's get to the causes and prevention now if you're um cleaning your vaginal area try to wipe from front to back okay stop cleaning from your anus then you come back to your vagina no now let your husband let them try to wash their penis before they enter okay or if they mistakenly choke the um penis inside the um, inner region and then they found out that it's in the inner region instead of choking it back into the um vagina they should go and wash it because that thing has already bought microorganisms so if you bring it it will still transfer the thing inside your vagina and this is urinary tract infection very important please in washing your vagina i don't know who um, your vulva i don't know who tell you people that you don't use what you don't use soap see you will use soap to wash your vulva not your vagina i'm going to make a video on how to wash that place so that you people will understand these two places are two different things you're urinating is still the thing is there water water is not enough you can but you don't touch your vagina you don't touch your hand inside that place but you wash your vulva this might be a little bit confusing i will try to see if i can put a picture but if you don't see a picture no i wasn't able to but i'll have to make a video on how to wash your vagina or your vulva okay so make sure you wash your vulva with water and mild soap okay but don't doubt 
So try to wash your vulva. Take care of that, please. Now, another thing very important is wear cotton pants, okay? Cotton pants is good. Then G-strings. I prefer G-strings because it makes you have, um, you know, allows you to breathe, okay? However, let it not be nylon. Let it be cotton. I'm not saying you should change your panties to G-strings, but I'm just saying for preferences, okay? Now, um, another one very, very important is during um personal hygiene this personal hygiene both you and your partner see this our hand can get infections very well so some people doing sexual you know intercourse they will just when your hand patches here patches here you know you see that hand you use it and wear condom and all of these are small small ways that you can um and you put it there vagina is very sensitive okay so this can disrupt um the normal flora of your vagina so make sure you're very particular about hand washing anything that enters that place let your let it be washed before it enters that particular place very important please make sure you always empty your bladder try to pee try to empty your bladder this will really help you stop keeping urine when you keep urine okay is uti all these things are um the, the urinary the urinary is, is like a system okay so keeping um urine in your bladder urine has lots of microorganisms bacteria that are not good some of them travel up and cause urinary tract infection for you okay and it's not even good it can even damage your kidneys <clears throat> okay so make sure that you go and pee after sex I know you want to cuddle and all of those things. Try to pee after sex. This will really help you. So after sex, pee. It will help flush out the um some bacteria microorganisms that might have you know seeped in from doing the upper back and forth of back and forth thing and you know around that area. It will help you flush them out. Okay. Um, this thing most people think going to urinate is because of flushing out sperm. No, it's actually because of flushing out microorganisms that may that may might have found their way into your vulva or vagina area. Okay, so this will help you. Now let's get to um very important. Please try to take a lot of water. This is almost like the number one thing that will help you. Water. Water will help you a lot. Try to hydrate. This will really help you. Now let's get to treatments. Now, how to treat urinary tract infection? When you notice or the signs, first of all, let's get to the signs of urinary tract infection. When you notice you're having difficulty urinating, you're having um bloody urine, stings, bloody urine, and sometimes after sex you feel pain when your urinating is very painful, your urine smells. These are suggestive signs of urinary tract infection. You're having fever. So when you notice this now, the treatment is this. Don't just go to buy antibiotics. Go to a lab. They will take your urine. It's not expensive. Maybe like two, three, five. Without your urine, they will use this and you know, do a lab for you and find out the microbe, the bacteria that is causing that, that you have not yet um become resistant to because of the so many antibiotics you've been taking you might have become resistant to it and 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 uh and uh the antibiotics that they might give you so this is why you should go so when you go to the lab they'll find out then give you the drugs to take to go and buy when they give you that drugs remember what i said in the beginning of this video when you buy that drugs make sure that you finish it after finishing it still go back and rerun the test this is where the reinfection comes if you don't rerun the test the bacteria the thing might have just slowed down and next time when it's and you know after some weeks or a month it will still come back and then it will even become resistant to the antibiotics that you took okay so this is why you should make sure that you rerun your test back after you've, you've treated the uti before going back to your sexual life okay now that is how to treat um urinary tract infection now to treat other kinds of infection staphylococcus all of those things i have a video on them it's almost like this so maybe you should go and watch it now let's talk about the natural ways that will help you with urinary tract infection so you don't um keep having them first of all you have to um you know and conquer these things these things lifestyle i've been saying then number one thing is make sure you take Cranberries, cranberries, cranberries are very nice. So if you're taking cranberry juice, be careful. They're the ones that are not pure. Those ones have lots of sugar in them, and you know sugar drives urinary tract infection. So 
um, mm. try to find a brand that has a lot of, you know, pure cranberry. There are still supplements too. Cranberry mm. supplements, you can take them, okay? Take lots of water. Now, remember to take vitamin C. This will really, really help you. Take some probiotics they sell in the pharmacy. You can take yogurt too. It will help in your vaginal health. Okay, drink water, try to reduce the way you take sugar. Sugar will make you increase the chances of your urinary tract infection. Work out and then um, <clears throat> when you do exercise, exercise really help you to, you know, build your immune system and prevent some of these opportunistic infections. I used to have all some of this infection, but exercise, vitamin C, these things really help you. Okay, so um, that is all about it. Um, Try to stop putting some of those things that you put in your vagina. They are no good. Johnny pearls, um, vaginal tighteners, those things disrupt your vaginal health. Okay, it causes yeast infection for you. Okay, and stop doubting. Stop putting anything inside that place. Don't worry, a video is coming on how to um, care for your vagina, okay, and how to wash it, okay. So for other kinds of infection, I have a video on them. If you don't know how to calculate your ovulation yet, still I have it. Natural means of preventing pregnancies, I have it. Diabetes, blood pressure, everything. Just go down to this page. You'll see a lot of videos that will really help you. Like this video, share, and follow for more.